anachronism 1545. The fence row practically belches honeydew. I've started taking a fat burner called Ventoline, a new ephedra substitute. It has guarana and who knows what else. Guarana tends to make my throat fill up with bile. This is Tuesday, right? My usual list of things to do like laundry and dishes turned into a misunderstood invitation. Visit with you was somewhere on the list. This is no hierarchy of any kind, no order of priority. It's often nothing more than a collage, like the tumbled mess of Brussels sprouts and chicken apple sausage on the white plate, a 4 a.m. snack I'm still working on. I eat a sprout, I scratch a line onto a page, a new page a day, I look back to see lines I'm to told are unusually straight through a few items on each page, something happens. I've often sat through drawn out critiques of the list oriented. It's raining, it's 5.40 a.m. I have a laptop open to pictures of our trip to Paris. I turned 40 there. It was my first trip abroad. I'm so in love, it happens every day, even with windshield wipers for a memory. I haven't run in years, nor the gym, maybe tomorrow. My eyes are, my ears are ringing, but pleasantly. I have in front of me a glass filled with orange juice, a pickle jar half full of water, and a mug with a mustache on it that has a few dregs of tea, chamomile. I add artificial sweetener to Splenda and two squirts of lemon.